again, speaking of week 14, these are week 14 game picks. Lots of teams get a buy this week. Lots of teams get a buy this week, so you're going to notice there's a lot less games. Um, starting out, Rams will have Baker Fraud Field. I don't know if that's going to change anything. And the Rams or the Raiders are really hot right now. Yeah. And so we both they, got the Raiders. They were saying, uh, I saw too, whoever the backup is for the Rams, I forget his name, John or something. Josh Wolf. Josh. They are analyzing him. He might still be starting. Oh. So I don't know why. Well, I mean, you can't be in a position where you don't have a quarterback. So I guess that's true. Like if he did Baker. go down and that's like, who else do they have? So yeah, yeah I guess. Dude, I Baker. remember um, the COVID year when everybody's out for COVID and yeah. like some players did this and that. The Denver Broncos wide receiver, Kendall Hinton, was quarterback. Really? for a game and he huh. dropped and I picked him up in fantasy and I put him at flex because I thought it was a genius like boy he's gonna throw three touchdowns yeah. he dropped negative three points in fantasy <laughs> like one for ten passing <laughs> of, of an intercept he was fucking horrible that's tough yeah, Drew Brawley, the Lions won't have a high enough pick for Stroud and Young. Dude, you don't think the, Ra the Rams pick is going to be one of the highest picks? They're like the second worst team in the league. Yeah. If Should Texans be. are pick Should one, be. there's actually a good chance the Rams are pick two. The, the Rams have the second worst record in the league. That would be fire. So we, right? want, the, we want the Rams to lose. We yes. Oh, 100%. Yes. yes. I want the Rams to keep sucking. Yes, yes. I think the Rams want to keep sucking too, except yes. I guess it doesn't matter. If you're the Rams, you actually want to win because you don't have your picks anyway. Right. I guess you got your second and your third and your fourth. Yeah. Rams are Rounds have won every game right. versus just Joey. Damn. Okay, Vikings, Lions. Take the Lions again. I'm just taking the Lions, dude. I'm riding the Lions wave, baby. Lions home. Let's go. That's, yeah. that's all I gotta say. I, I like just, that. I just want the Lions to get it done. I, I fucking love Minnesota. That's yes, a team yes, that I fully good. changed to nine. At the start of the season, I thought there was a zero percent chance the Vikings would be good. They weren't on my radar. I really didn't really. believe it. They weren't on my radar. I mean, they were on my radar as like a seven and nine team. Uh, but the Vikings are legit, and I'm happy the Lions are catching stride. But that's like a top five or six team in the league, the Minnesota Vikings. And I don't think the Lions, I think the Lions are in the bottom 10. I just don't see us winning that game. Yeah. And they're really, fun, like they really want this. They're fighting for like a really good seed in the playoffs. And True. I don't think we want it nearly as bad, especially this late in the season. In like weeks one through four, when nobody knows anything, I could see it, but I just don't see it here. Yeah. Ravens Steelers, we both got different ones here. You like the Steelers? Yeah, I like the Steelers. I'm thinking Lamar's going to be out. True. Um, True. What is it? Huntley, is their backup? Tyler Huntley, I just really like He's Tyler good. I, that's, I actually thought, I'm like, their backup's really good. I don't know. I think the Steelers are solid team. Mm -hmm. I think Pickett's improving he every is. week. He I really think is improving. I think he's improving. So taking the taking the Steelers on this one. Go I, like I need I need to get games back somehow. Yeah, I so. hear you. Six down. Got to switch it up. You got you have the Browns over the Bengals after the Bengals just beat the Chiefs. The Browns are undefeated this year versus Joe Shiesty. Yeah, I don't even know if that's true. I just said that because someone in chat said I don't know if that's true. Here's what I'm thinking. It's week two. Deshaun Watson bounce back game. Yeah. Um, I really like the Browns and I, I just, I really see the Browns winning this game for no legitimately good reason. Yeah. The defense is nasty. Deshaun is better than Brissett. I don't care that he had a mediocre game. He's, mm -hmm. he's fine in his stride. We'll see. Okay. I, I think realistically this is my worst pick though. Okay. But it's just kind of a Hail Mary. Jets, Bills. Bills need this one. Bills yeah. will take it. Bills are They're not going to let the Jets beat them twice, points. right? Yeah, that's right. what I'm thinking. Um, Cowboys, Texans. Uh, one of the best teams versus the worst team yes. in the league. Literally so. the worst team. Not even close. I think this Eagles Giants game could be pretty solid. What do you think? It could. I think the Giants like are feeling the fact that their record is inflated. I don't. I have no evidence to support that claim. Yeah. You know, the, the the Giants at one point well, were I mean, seven they just one tied or whatever, the right? Commanders, tied so. the Commanders. They lost the week before that. They lost the week before that. Yeah. Now they're going up against one of the best teams in the league and a division rival. Um, you're right. All division rivalry games, I always believe, are good games. And there's a lot of them this week. Right. Actually, almost every game this week is a division rivalry game. Every single game this... Oh, not every single game, but a lot of them. Damn. Well, not... Okay, not Raiders, Rams. Yeah. But NFC North... Yep. AFC North, AFC North, AFC East, no. NFC East, AFC South, AFC West, not a division rivalry game, not a division rivalry game, not a division... Ah, oh, okay. Well, I there mean, there's a quite, a, there's there's quite there, a few, though. It's like yeah. eight of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upset of the year, Broncos beat the Chiefs. That would be the upset of the year. That would be the upset of the year. You're not <laughs> yes. wrong about that. Yeah, it would. Oh Jacksonville, God. you've got Jacksonville beating the Titans. I've got Titans beating Jacksonville. I do. I'm just, I don't even know, dude. I'm kind of just throwing one at the wall here and just yeah. hoping I get a win. Honestly. I mean, I'm I'm there with with Browns Bengals. So yes, yeah. I mean, like like listen, if you pick the money line favorite every game, right, you'll never win. Yeah. Like that's why people that's why people always say casual like guys I get it I'm not the biggest NFL analyst yeah, in the world yeah, yeah. but go ahead put your money where your mouth is literally guys like anybody who comments all this shit make a DraftKings account deposit your money and gamble your money on all this shit you're saying and you will watch how quickly your deposit 
depletes to zero. Yeah. And you have zero dollars in your bank account and you'll go, oh fuck, I don't actually know ball. Oh shit. No, they, they do all it. know. They they get every single game correct God. every single I'm week. I'm so jealous. My whole my whole chat is billionaires. Yeah. Because they throw 16 like parlays every week and they always hit. I wish. T Collis. Hey, what's good, bro? Remember for 10 months. Love to see it. Josh said, love you, Papa, but the Niners are winning. I guess we'll see. I mean, yeah. Chase has got it. I, I expect the Niners to win, but I'm getting weird with it. So we I got like, Chiefs. I like divorced Tom Brady. Chiefs over Broncos. That's pretty self explanatory. Mm -hmm. We got Hawks over Carolina. I think that's kind of another self explanatory game. Geno Smith's popping off. He's He wants that comeback player of the year. Let's fucking go. Another one we got different here, though. I have the 49ers. You have the Bucks. 49ers looking hot right now. Jimmy G's out. Out though, I forget who their backup is. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy. Oh yes, Brock yeah. Purdy, Brock Purdy just, just, just popped off. Good. Yes, yes, he just popped off because they don't have Trey Lance. Trey Lance got sauced in the beginning of the year, right? He broke his foot. Like, oh yeah, it's so sad. It is. So yeah, sad. so Brock Purdy, hoping he just comes out again, dude. He looked solid. I just think like the Niners have their playoff slot more or less locked up. The Buccaneers are fighting for it still. Mm -hmm. I think the Buccaneers really need this game. Yeah. So we'll see how they play. It's, I, it's I so much different than the NFL too in college. It's like, if you feel like almost college teams, they go hard every game. Yeah. NFL, okay. it's like they kind of pick and choose when they want to, you know. Yeah. There's some weeks where, where like you're just, you watch a really good team just lose by 30. Yeah. And you're just like, what? Yeah. Why? Like, what was going on? Like the year that I always talk about this, but the year the Patriots won the Super Bowl, which was like a lot of years, but the most recent one, yeah. they got smacked by the Lions. And we were three, that was one of our three wins that season. We yeah. were three and 13 yep. that yeah, season. Yeah. We beat the Super Bowl winning Patriots like 99 times out of 100. If both teams are playing hard, that doesn't happen. They just were fucking around. Right. Uh, Dolphins beat the Chargers, yep. Cardinals beat the Patriots. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy. Easy dubs. Week 14, baby. Yeah, it's week 14. We'll see, baby. Sweet.